For nearly 2 million years, humans have been walking upright. 5,000 years ago, the wheel was invented and nearly 60 years of space traveling all that time, we haven't really come that far. Because even though Hollywood would make you believe that space is a dangerous place, ready to eat up any man who dares challenge her, no one has actually really died in space, never to return. We've always ended up here, on Earth. So while we've evolved so far, we still have only managed to die and end up here, on this one planet. No one's been buried on the moon, and no one's just floating off into deep space, never to be seen again. Or have they? Hi guys, welcome to the very first video in a series about conspiracy theories. Now, I'm not the tinfoil hat kind of wearing guy. In fact, to be honest, most conspiracy theories I probably don't buy into, but I find them really interesting. Like, is there astronauts floating off into deep space? Let's find out. The year 1955. Rebel Without a Cause was just released. Coca-Cola was just a nickel, and the world was being tormented by the thought of nuclear war. With the two world powerhouses, the Soviet Union and the United States, locked in the Cold War and ever so desperate to show off whose rocket is bigger, boys, they began the space race. While the United States were first on the moon, they were beaten by the Soviet Union as they were first launching a satellite into orbit and the first person into space beating the US Air Force's program, it's codenamed MISS, Man in Space Soonest. There have been a few space-related deaths. Six years after the first person made it into space, in 1967, Vladimir Komarov piloted a program-riddled Soyuz 1. It was meant to just be a three-day test, but was cut short due to malfunctioning solar panels and an automated system that pretty much just made him spin out of control. There was a rescue party organized to fix his ship, but that was called off due to a storm when they were preparing to launch, and he was ordered to abort his mission and return home. Fatality struck when his parachute failed to open, and he died on impact. A story circulates that during his descent he was able to talk to his wife, and he also began cursing out the engineers for building such a terrible contraption, which, well, I would probably do the same thing. But the one I find most interesting, and the only official cause of death in space, and that is from Soyuz 11. On the 30th of June 1971, the Soviet spacecraft performed a textbook re-entry, and when the recovery team opened the capsule, they were shocked to find the whole crew dead. The fault? A breathing ventilation valve that opened at the altitude of 168 kilometers or 104 miles up. It was fatal to the crew within just a few seconds. Officially, 21 adventurers have lost their lives in space accidents, and each person in some form, usually not whole, has returned here to Earth. So no one's just off floating into space, officially. And the very first death happened six years after the first successful orbit? Well, it's now that I'd like to introduce you to Judica Cordiglia Brothers. I'm sure I'm butchering that. These two Italian brothers and amateur radio operators are the basis for our conspiracy theory tonight. From 1957, the pair claimed to have recorded transmissions from the first United States and Soviet Union satellites, and Laika, the first dog to orbit Earth. Good girl. Who's a good girl? But things get interesting on November 28, 1960, when they recorded what they claimed to be the very first unofficial man in space. They picked up on a signal and claimed it was an SOS message in Morse code. They also calculated that the signal's location was moving away from Earth into deep space instead of entering an orbiting pattern. The Butchum Radio Astronomical Observatory in West Germany confirmed they also received signals and they were different to that produced from Soviet satellites, of course, unmanned satellites. Coincidentally, it was only five months before the official first manned flight into space by the Soviets. Two days later, the Soviet Union claimed to have attempted to put a spacecraft into orbit, but had failed. They also claimed it was unmanned. Remember, this is 1960, the height of the Cold War, and a failed mission with human casualties would have been a major win for the US, something the Soviets definitely did not want. To prove that they had the ability and technology, the brothers have shown recordings of the first official space flight. So, of course, they have the technology, they can do it. Things get more interesting too. On May the 23rd, 1961, a month after the official first Earth orbit, 
The brothers claim to have recorded a female speaking in Russian saying, it's very hot, I see flames, and asking if the ship is going to blow up before being cut off. At the time, again, the Soviet government denied that there could be any lost astronauts and the recordings were false. Well, could they be? Well, there are some strong arguments. In the red corner, they argue the audio recordings of the female Russian voice isn't consistent with communication protocols, and she uses disjointed sentences and grammatical errors, something trained Air Force pilots and astronauts probably wouldn't do. The Soviet Union at the time weren't using rockets powerful enough to reach deep space or deep orbit. And lastly, the United States were listening hard as well. If they heard any of these recordings, they would have had a field day looking for any chance to destabilize the Soviet Union, claiming it a win for them. Or perhaps the public would have seen it a loss for space travel and would want the US's space program halted as well. Lastly, when the Iron Curtain fell, many secrets of the Soviet Union space program came to light. Many failures they didn't hide, but nothing about missing astronauts. So until Elon Musk can send us to our deaths on Mars, Earth is where we have and have always rested for eternity. So what do you guys think? Do you reckon there's any astronauts floating off into deep space? Maybe the government's trying to cover up something? Let us know in the comment section below and any conspiracy theories you want covered.